Hey student, this video is about showing you what is the required format for you to submit your CDEV and DBEV final project. So the format that we want is a Google site, right? So in your Gmail, right? So you can uh, just click on, okay? Uh, seems like we don't see Google site here. Mm, okay, so it is not here, so we can click on more from Google, right? And uh, we can scroll all the way to the bottom. And what we want is to find Google Sites. Okay, so click on it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to use a blank one. So uh, you can use any of these given templates, right? So I'll start with the simple one, the blank one. All right, and uh, these are the items that are needed to be present in your Google Sites. Okay, so uh, I'm going to just paste the title in here. Okay, maybe it's a little bit too big, so I'm going to just change it. Right, and I also prepared some images, so I'm going to put the three categories here: functionalities, video demo reel, as well as personal personal reflection. So, minimally, uh, your Google site should have four pages. Okay, uh, but it is okay if you uh, squeeze the items into a single page, right? Uh, basically, you need to have all these required items. So I'm going to create new images, uh, upload. So I have three images here. So functions, right? So I'm going to resize this. So you can see uh, this is very similar to the grid system in Bootstrap. Yeah. So here is like how many how many columns uh, do you require? So let's say. Uh, three columns okay three columns is fine and next I want to put in the text box and the text box I will just leave it also also three columns right so this is the text okay let's have another image so the next one will be video all right so it's quite big so same thing uh, Okay, so is all right. Let's just resize it. Okay, and then over here, put in the text box. Okay, resize it to three column. Okay, three column, and one more is. Reflection, okay. So same thing, resize it. To roughly about three column, then pull it here three column. Okay, so maybe uh, the video we can slightly make it a bit larger. Okay, no, doesn't look good. So let's keep it to three column, three column, three column. Okay. Uh, anyway, you can play with the size. All right, and one more text box to three column and I'm gonna just pull it here okay right so uh, I'm going to the next page so this is my home page and I'm going to go to the next page add in a new page and the next page will be uh, function function all right so that's the name of my next page function Okay, so over here I'm going to just add in one text, okay, and uh, for example I'm going to just put in uh, all the functions, Google login, favorites, alright, so 
uh, basically all the functions that you have implemented okay so you can fill up okay let's go and have one more page and this page will be the video all right so in the video page uh, there's this insert widget but apparently when I try it is not working so I'm going to uh, try another way that is uh, I'm going to find okay I'm going to find a uh, all right so so by now you have uploaded your video demo reel okay so what you can do is you can right click on your video and then you can choose copy and bake code all right and over here then what you can do is you can put uh, embed all right but anyway you can try out placing using the YouTube widget all right so this can be the uh, second read the, the uh, alternative way so you paste it in all right then click next okay and then click insert right so this is your uh, video so let's centralize it and okay just make it slightly bigger all right so this is the video page and then finally what we want is the reflection and for the reflection uh, these are the things these are the items that you need to pen down okay. right so these are the items all right so you need to uh, pen down your experience whether it's a positive negative neutral uh, what are the new things you discover and learn through this CDF DBEF project uh, which do you enjoy most and then rate your experience for this uh, whole module okay from one to five okay so now we can go back to the home and we can do the linking all right so we can click on this text here and then we can click on this link here and we can choose function and what is the text that you want it to appear so maybe we put there functionalities functionalities okay I hope the spelling is correct okay it's a bit small so let's increase the size a little bit 24 is fine so let's centralize it okay and over here we can also link to function apply so the next one will be over here so let's click to video and then here we can put demo reel okay so same thing let's increase the size to 24 and then centralize it and over here we are going to link it to video apply and then the last one okay last one will be reflection so let's, let's pull it reflection and let's select it and pull it to 24 centralize it okay and over here we want to link it to reflection okay so i guess we are done so now is your time uh, now is the time to publish it all right so publish it and uh, you're supposed to fill up the last part so that uh, the whole URL will be unique okay so maybe you can put your name Tommy see that something like that okay so uh, basically yeah we can just accept all the settings but make sure that uh, the rights will allow your tutor to view your your site okay because this is the required deliverable so publish it all right so it's done then you can view it right so this is your uh, digital portfolio right so you can go to functionalities right so these are all your functionalities and then you can go back to home 
this will be to the video okay so your tutor can watch your demo reel here and then uh, yeah so going back to home and reflection right so there's a reflection okay so once everything is done uh, your tutor is going to uh, share with you a link to an excel document right so this is where you paste in uh, your personal url Alright, so before you submit, uh, make sure you test all the links, alright, and you check, check through the content. Okay, right, so thank you for tuning in.